Hello viewers and welcome to Power BI Zone. Today we take a look at running totals in Power BI. So we will try to find out what are running totals actually and how we can calculate them. So in my vlog I have given a very simple you know steps to go ahead and calculate it using something known as a quick measure. So let me quickly go over to the Power BI desktop. How can we calculate the running total? So uh, let me go ahead and take date as one of the column and the other column will be sales. See date is coming because date is a hierarchy. If I just go ahead and do a zoom, see date is a hierarchy right now. So these are called hierarchies, right? So you have year, you have quarter, you have month and you have day, which is why it's coming up like this year, quarter, month and day. So how you can change this is there are options that you will get if you click this arrow right and let me go ahead and do a control zoom so all you have to do is select this date instead of date hierarchy so let me quickly select the date see automatically it gets changed and now it is looking the format has changed and the hierarchy is gone so now we are interested in calculating the running total so what do you mean by running total? If I come to the second month, uh, I'll give you an example of October 2013. What will happen? It will be the sales for September plus October. If I tell you, okay, give me the running total till November. So for November, how you will calculate it? Previous months. So it will calculate September plus October plus November. In, if you right click on the three dots over here under more options, let me just zoom in. You will see there is something called as new quick measure. So we'll be using this particular new quick measure option. Scroll down and you will be able to see select and calculation, right? So if I scroll down over here, you will be able to see something called as running total under the total. So you have to select this running total option. Now there are very important things over here called base value and field. Now what is a base value, right? So the, you see there is a sm small eye icon which hovers at the top, right top, right? So what we will do, we will just click on this eye icon, you will be able to understand what is this, this base value. So the base value is nothing but the value whose running total you want. In our case, we want the running total for sales, right? So we will simply put sales in the base value. The other thing is field. So what is field? Again, if I go to the information icon over here, it says the running field in which to calculate the total. What is that? I want to calculate the total of sales for which field? For date, right? So I'll put in the date over here. That's it. You are done. So let me pull in this measure to the visual. Okay. I hope you like this video. And this is just a simple explanation of how you can go ahead and create the running total in Power BI. There are many other ways you can even create it manually using DAX. But I wanted to keep the video very simple and just show you how you can quickly create the running total using quick measure. If you like the video, then please share the video and also subscribe to the channel. Thank you.